Item number five, uh, tender contract, Bo Jumdell. Uh, Mike, good afternoon, Mike Cordell. Yeah. How are you, Mike? Good. Good luck. Uh, yes, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward one, so I'll take the item as read and invite your questions. Okay, that's mm -hmm. nice and quick. Any questions of Mike on this? Actually don't hear, sorry. No, okay, not Should I just maybe just give a little bit of context here? So um, we we have an issue with water in Kinloch yeah, at give peak you times. A, um, we've got an issue, obviously, with council going into recess for a little while. We need to get on with the work. Um, so that's the issue we're facing: is the summer of of peak demand and issues with water usage. Yes, last summer we got a couple of uh, low pressure complaints from a couple of higher areas in Kinloch. And we were able to resolve that by changing some valving around. But this year, there's been quite a bit of building going on in Kinloch. Yeah. So we want to get this water main in before the um, summer. Mm. So it's giving me the permission to sign off on the tender when it comes in, as long as it's within that, that delegation, because mm -hmm. you're not sitting in the chamber. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mike. I'm happy to, happy to move happy that. To move. Councillor Park, move. Thank Councillor Park, Councillor Williamson. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Gary. Thank you, Mike. Item number six, uh, contract for Broadlands uh, Landfill Cell 2D Construction. Good afternoon, Mr. Ben Aiken. Uh, Your Worship, councillors. Uh, I'm lucky enough to come and talk rubbish, hopefully not literally. <laughs> I'll take the item as read and answer any questions for you. Very good. So it's another cell we're putting in. Uh, Councillor Park, ah, sorry. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Um, just, I, I just noticed in reading this that there were um, four potential tenders, but only one actual tender was received. Was there any feedback from the others as to why they didn't follow through the process? I just think that the market is so saturated with work out there. Um, the three of the tenders that didn't tender were fully booked, and uh, I think they came and had a little look and just said, well, I just, we just can't fit it in our current work programme, which is unfortunate. It's a problem that we're talking about nationally at the moment, just um, both construction contractors and um, design contractors, you just can't find them. It's not just councils, the pub private sector is exactly the same. You exactly just cannot same. find a contractor at the moment. Great, thanks. Councillor Cousins, through the Chair, thank you for that. Just um, 6 by 1, under engineer's estimate, we ask this again and again and again, it says the estimate is uh, 1 million 4,000. Once again, including GST or excluding GST? That is uh, excluding GST. Okay, yes. thank you. Just right. Just as a some information. Um, yes. How long did the last cell take to fill? Uh, it was about five years for the last cell. Okay. Yep. And uh, it really depends on the site constraints. We want to be able to move around. We've, yeah. we've built a fog yeah. pond. We want to be able to move around the green waste operation, which we want to keep on the site. So, so that is the is the present one. Coming to get filled, or are you just making the opportunity to we want, we want to change build, the tip around a bit? We, we want to build the landfill at, uh, at, at the least amount of time um, left. Yeah. Um, due to the fact that we don't want to put uh, spend the money online and have it sitting there waiting for us. Yeah. Uh, so we've got about probably about five months of full volume to go before we need the next cell. Okay. So it's it's last minute stuff, but it's you know it's from a capital perspective, okay. it's the best way to go. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Which is interesting in the, in the long term plan, it's 1 million 26 without the GST. So, with the GST, this is only slightly more than what we had in the long term plan. So, the, the, the 1 million 26 was uh, in, uh, inclusive of the uh, design. So, the design's been completed last year so that we can have the plant, uh, the, the design plans in, uh, to go out to tender. And so, I think we're still under the 1 million budget, which is actually the, the capital, capital budget for the build. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. And just while we're at it too, the dump, I happened to experience a dump, dump operations the other day, 
Well, fantastic staff there are. Very helpful. I don't know if you're here. Dump anymore. It's not a dump. It was cool. Yeah. You mean our resource recovery? No. Yeah. 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 No, uh, just, yeah, if you pass on, I know that independent contractors, but they do a wonderful job. Shane, is it Shane? Shane. Yeah, they've got a number of staff out there. They seem to be able to meet most of the people that live in the district over a period of time, so they do a good job for us. Thank you. All right, uh, recommended resolution there. Thank you, Councillor Jollins. Uh, seconded by Councillor Cousins. Thank you. We accept that... Um, <coughs> Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 Carried.